today, my Warframians, my Warframe loving brothers, my Digital Extreme supporters, even though sometimes they do screw us over, everybody out there that enjoys the game of Warframe, I'm about to put you on game. And if you're an expert, you're already put on to this weapon. The best weapon in Warframe. This is completely objective. This isn't opinionated at all. As you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, everything I do is objective. I'm never, I'm never opinionated. I'm never sarcastic about this specific thing. I'm always 100% serious. And I'm definitely not joking right now. The best weapon in Warframe is the Cedo, and you need to use it. Okay, I'm just being 100% real right now, guys. And the reason the Cedo is the best weapon in Warframe is yes, it actually is very good. Unironically, it is a very good weapon. Every list I've looked up had it in like the S tier, or it's like top 10 best weapons in the game. I don't think I've seen it in number one yet, but it is a very popular, very good weapon. But the reason I'm telling you you need to use the Cedo isn't because it's a good weapon. Because as you guys know, I don't give a fuck if it's a good weapon. I've never given a fuck if it's a good weapon. I care if the weapon is fun, if it's enjoyable, if it's a good time. And guess what? The Cedo is a damn good time. The Cedo is the weapon I've had the most fun with in my entire Warframe career. I fucking love it. My second favorite is the Vehec. I'm kind of just like a shotgun enthusiast. I mean like the Dragoon. I'm just a big shotgun guy. And the Cedo, in my opinion, is not only the most effective best shotgun, but also just so fun to use. With alternate fire with the glaive, just being like a bouncy blade of death. Like that's so cool. It just bounces around killing everything, giving it stash effects. 50% stash chance off rip. What? What? Sorry, I got excited. I didn't mean to yell into the mic there. I apologize to your ears. I probably, I probably should put a trigger warning there, but I'm not going to because that's a lot of work. But what I'm getting at here is the Cedo is a very good weapon and a very fun weapon. So if you're looking for the combination of a late game, effective weapon, and having a good time, the Cedo is honestly, in my personal opinion, your best bet. It's just fucking amazing. The best part of the Cedo isn't actually its primary fire, where it shoots shotgun shells. Even though it's pretty effective, has very it's very, very accurate. In my opinion, in my understanding, probably the most accurate shotgun in the entire game. Really good at long range, it's crazy. But its best mode is as an alternative fire, which is where you fire a glaive. The glaive has, I believe, a 50% chance. I don't believe, I'm looking at it right fucking now on the stats. Has a 50% stash chance off rip. The glaive part has a 50% stash chance off rip. It's very easy to get something that's 50% stash chance to over 100% stash chance. And then on top of that, while having an extremely high stash chance with the glaive mode, never runs out of ammo, by the way, and hits multiple targets at once, and does like radial damage. Not only does it have that ability, but guess what else it does? Every stash chance that an enemy is afflicted with, the primary fire mode for the Cedo, the 60% more damage. Now let me, make, let me double check that real quick, guys, because that's ridiculous. Maybe it does up to 60% more damage? Let's see. Let's read this real quick. Characteristics. Deal 60% bonus damage per unique stash effect on the target. I, I didn't misinterpret it, guys. The Cedo literally does 60% bonus stats damage per unique stats effect on the target. That means if you can get three stats effects on a target, your Cedo is doing 180% damage. More damage. You know how insane that is? That makes the primary fire also absolutely insane. That's not even why it's good. The 50% stats chance, the infinite ammo with the glaive, the bouncy targets is what makes it good, right? But then you have the primary fire doing 180% bonus damage? Bonus damage? Fully automatic? Good punch through? Multi-shot of six pellets? Meaning you can get up to like 12 pellets with decent multi-shot on it? What is this? What? 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 Who made this? Who let this be in the game? Who let this happen? It's the primary shutdown? I'm sorry. I just nutted my pants several times. It's ridiculous. The glaive bounces up to 11 different times. It has initial hit and explosion stats effect that apply separately. That means when you hit someone with the glaive, it does a little bit of explosion radial damage. And guess what? The initial hit does 50% stats chance. And then the explosion also has a chance to deal more stats effects. That means you can get two or three procs off a single hit because the explosion always applies two separate procs these are guaranteed and not affected by mods that means you have a very high chance to get three status procs right off the bat and guess what that means that means you right off the bat get 180 percent damage boost for the primary rate of fire on any enemy what what 
The other primary weapons are just lagging behind, guys. This is unreal. This is not real, guys. This Cedo is amazing. And the Cedo, the one thing where I am a hater, because it is my favorite weapon in the game, hands down, it is my personal favorite weapon. I lie, this isn't fucking objective at all. This is completely opinionated. I love the weapon. I think it looks kind of stupid. Okay? And if, as someone who really does place importance on the looks of a weapon for their enjoyment of it, I think the Cetus, it doesn't look terrible, but I don't think it looks great either. It just looks weird. It just looks too fake to me. It looks like a plastic toy gun you might find at Kroger, if I'm being completely honest. And that's literally the only thing that's bad about the Cedo. And then on top of this, on top of this, guys, it apparently has a fucking Lavarian entry? What the fuck? Why does it have a Lavarian entry? God, I'm learning new things. I'm, I'm doing research here today. What? Oh, no. It's just... Okay, never mind. My bad, I was confused. It was Lavos' his main weapon. It was a Lavos Lavarian entry. I don't know why I put that shit on the Wikipedia. It pisses me off. Made me just look dumb. But anyway, guys, the Cedo is just my favorite weapon. I was actually gifted the Cedo uh, years ago while I was newer to Warframe on computer. I think I was an MR8 when someone gifted it to me, and I've been using it ever since. It's just my favorite weapon. I know I usually use the uh, the Vehek or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, or the Hex Shotgun. It's not called the Vehek. Am I a fucking idiot? That's the character's name. The Hex Shotgun, which is a very, a very effective shotgun that I really like. I have a great ribbon for it. But guess what, gamers? I also have the ribbon for the Cedo. <laughs> I have a Cedo ribbon, gamers. <laughs> I know. You're jealous. Everyone just came in their pants when they heard me say that. I'll go ahead and show you my Cedo build right here. It is not even close to the best Cedo build in existence because I'm missing all kinds of good mods like galvanized hellfire whatever the fuck it's called which is like the best mod in the game apparently because every fucking is it galvanized hell i don't know it's like galvanized hell i think it's like the best mod in the game i just don't have that shit i'm sorry guys every single gun requires that for its build pretty much i just don't have it i apologize okay okay i'm a casual i admit it i'm sorry hands up in the air right now anyway sorry i'm getting sweaty here i'm getting sweaty I'll show you my mod build for it right here with my sexy ass ribbon. I'll put a little probably a separate screenshot for my ribbon. It's not an amazing ribbon, but it's pretty solid and you can always just, you know, keep re-rolling until it is insane. I just don't have a, a Lakuva waste on it right now. And then of course, you can, uh, I'll show you the proper build, the perfect Cedo build. Maybe not perfect. I probably want to steal it from once again, like someone like Nightmare, someone like that, you know, the goats because they really do build guns well. I'll put their link in the video below. But since I am so familiar with Aceto, since I have been literally using it for years, literal years, literal years, I am not going to be doing a first playthrough with it because I already have it max level and there's no fucking point. That would be fucking stupid. Instead, I'm just going to go right in and do some high level gameplay with it and have some fucking fun. Anyway, this is a very long intro. If you're still watching, I appreciate it. It was a little bit dick riding. I, I dick rode the C though. I'm not going to lie. I hopped on that shit and was riding that glaive around like it was a pixie stick. But we're done here. And we'll move on to the gameplay now. Thank you guys for watching up to this point in the video. Let's do it, baby. Let's move. We're out. Also, wait. I lied. I fucking lied. Um, before we leave, I just want to make it clear that I am going to be very busy coming up. I, I'm in a computer science program. Uh, it's and it's summer classes mean I have less weeks to do the same length of class I'm gonna be very busy guys. So any support you guys give me is really appreciated uh, You know like subscribe all that good stuff Why is it appreciated because it makes me feel better about myself not because it's going to help me do fucking my homework But it makes me feel better about myself. So thank you guys for that because I know you wonderful people out there will do it Anyway, let's get on to the gameplay, baby. Peace Such little memes it makes me so unhappy to watch these guys just hop around, saving their buddies. Like, oh my gosh, you can't insta-kill this guy anymore because guess what? I run the ultimate shield drone. Like, what do you mean all those things? Like, where, where did they come from, buddy? Like, who made them? Who made them? I also want to make it very clear. Uh, if this was a corporate arbitration, but I did not. I would not be doing this. I think everyone and their moms agrees that fighting the is more fun than fighting corpus. And I'm not a solo type player, guys. I like getting carried by people in arbitrations, by the randoms I joined. So y'all know that I would, would not be doing this solo if it was not uh, Grenier, bro. That corpus armor would be too annoying, buddy. It would be too annoying. Too annoying. Oh my gosh, look at that. 150 hit damage with heat. Let's go. The Cedo's just so good. It's actually just the most unfair weapon in the game, bro. Like, someone as bad, as bad at the game as I am 
can just dominate with the Cedo. It's absolutely insane. I'm literally using the Cedo and Rhino combined right now. Like the most brain dead, overpowered Warframe. Obviously, it's not the most overpowered. But I'm just saying, like, it takes the least skill to use in my opinion. Rhino. And I'm using it for my mains. So I'm not very skilled. He uses, like, Defense Rhino. It's one of the least skilled things. It takes one of the most casual brains that you can casually use to be successful with Rhino. I'm using the Cedo, which is one of the most casual weapons you can use to be successful. I like the Ultimate Casual right now, guys. And I am loving it, dude. Like, I just feel so good doing it. I feel like I can just accomplish anything with this this build, this team, this combination of Tito and, and Rhino, bro. We're just actually unstoppable. It's actually insane. I'm actually built different. There's actually just not enough enemies to money right now, which is really annoying. Uh, that's the biggest issue I have with survival missions is like, no, I don't know if anyone else ever has this issue. I just feel like enemies just don't spawn fast enough, bro. Like, I'm, I'm looking for you. Where you at, buddy? Like, I, I need the kills. I need, I, I, I need the sauce. I need, I, need the, I need the supplies, buddy. Can you please come here? Yeah, it's a level 60, 80 mission. As you guys know, I typically just do uh, level 30 missions for my like final bit of videos. Because I am familiar with the Cedo and it is a weapon I do use in like, later games. I have used the Steel Path quite a bit. I have used some arbitration, which I'm doing right now. It is a weapon I'm very comfortable with. So that is why we're doing a little bit more difficult missions than I typically do. So I want to showcase the abilities of the beautiful, of the sexy, of the powerful Cedo. Oh my gosh, dude, that damage is just did. Get off my tip. You can't have a piece of me, bro. Oh, I just love this here. It just makes me so satisfied to use it. The biggest issue right now is I'm probably around ammo here soon with the primary uh, weapon function, which you know isn't a huge wouldn't be a huge problem if I was doing the game. But since I usually I just don't use warp abilities to deal damage at all, that's actually a pretty large problem for me, guys. Like ironically, I don't I just don't have any builds where I do actual warframe damage. <laughs> I just my warframe abilities are useless except my iron skin. It's actually just embarrassing. I need to work on my uh, knowledge of warframe a lot, guys. But not recently, because like I said, I'm in school right now, bro. It's kicking my ass, dude. And no, it's not. That's a lie. It's not. I just started the semester, so I'm just assuming that's going to be, because they're all accelerated courses. <laughs> but anyway, can you guys not see the greatness of this video right now? Are you not impressed? Are you not confused and confused and invigorated by this powerful the machine of death and destruction and, and perfection? And sex is like perfect cell right here, guys. I'm literally playing as perfect cell right now. The Rhino and Steel combined is just the embodiment of perfect, perfect cell. I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with that. You're just wrong. You're blatantly wrong. And I hate to tell you it like that. You're just wrong. I don't know what game is right now. Apparently, I'm doing fire damage because I didn't even know I had to quit. But you know, who cares? It doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. I need more spawn. Enemy spawn. Enemy spawn. I need to take your soul. Actually, I just need to take your oxygen packs. I'm confused how some enemies have oxygen packs and others don't. Because I feel like every enemy should drop oxygen, because like every enemy needs oxygen to still survive, right? Or maybe in most enemies you just destroy the oxygen when you shoot them, and that's why only certain enemies drop oxygen, because actually each enemy does have oxygen, because that would make sense, because it would make sense for certain enemies to not have oxygen. But every enemy does have oxygen, it's just in most of them it's, it's so destroyed that you can't actually use it. Which is my, my game theory right now, guys. You guys know that game theory? I think it's actually a pretty good one. I think I'm a pretty smart guy for that. My brain, pretty big. Oh damn, oh damn, this guy's strong. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Yeah, give me them cheeks, boy. Give me them cheeks! Oh my gosh, I'm just killed myself. Ooh, we have a lot of guys coming up. Yes, sir. Where's that? Oh no, where's the little rolling guy at? Hey guys, it's because without your invincibility spell, your invincibility. How do I get one of them little drones that make me invincible, bro? How do I get one of them? Like, come on now, how do I get one of them? Someone explain to me, please. Well, the Warframe's got those. Why aren't we invincible yet? If the Grenier can go up with it, bro, you tell me, like, the Lotus can't, like, do some math or something? Like, she looks like she's good at math. Like, probably with engineering school. I don't know. There's all those wires hooked up to her, bro. She's like a Christian. She's like Tristan. Bro. Her electricity bill goes crazy. Speaking of that, what is, like, the electricity bill? Like, I mean, obviously, I don't think the Warframes are playing electricity bills. But like what like what is the cost of the upkeep of like our ships and everything? I bet it's like a ridiculous. Like how much does it cost to like fly around? Like do we make more money than it costs like just like and stuff? I mean like I, and like how much like the ammo that we spend costs? I mean we pick a lot of ammo during missions, but at the same time, like how much like are we spending? Like how much like what are the cost is this is a numbers guy, you know, this is a resource management guy, I just need to know. The inner uh, Solaris and me is speaking. <laughs> What's like the resource cost here? What's the maintenance, guys? What's the maintenance? 
need to know. We're locked in. <coughs> Why isn't that guy dying? Oh, he is. I couldn't tell he had to think. He threw my gun! No, it's over! It's over! I'm literally nothing without you, Cito. Please come back to me. I need you, baby. Cause I do no damage without you. I do no damage without you. I have no way to get a kill. If the CEO ain't hit him in the... I don't know. What rhymes with that? It's like a body part. Pill? I don't fucking know. I, I wanted to say pill. I don't know why. It didn't really make sense, but I guess I'm locked in. It's pill now with my rap song. Yeah, we're going kind of crazy right now. It's actually going significantly better than I thought it was. I was going to get kind of wrecked on an arbitration mission. So I'm just bad at the game by myself because I've only ever done arbitrations with friends. But uh, it's not pretty well. We'll probably get like 10 minutes, maybe 15, I don't know. We could definitely get the 15, I think, right now. Like at this pace at least. Would we'll spawn more enemies, dude. I feel like it's not spawned very many. It's not going to be a lot at once. I don't know. I need more life support. <laughs> I want more life support, daddy. What's crazy is if, you know, they could just not send any enemies after us, and they would win, if they cut off life support. And I don't realize why I keep seeing people to kill us after they cut off our life support. Doesn't it seem like backwards? Like, I feel like you just you should stop trying to send people after us when life support is completely cut off. Like, it seems like it's just dangerous for your own guys to do that. And then, like, we're picking up more life support from your guys. Like, if you just didn't send them, we would just die. Or we'd have to leave. Like, there would be no option. And, wait a minute, wait a minute, why do we need life support? Wait, 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 are we at the ship controlling the... We're like, are we, we're not inside the warframe, right? Like, I, maybe I misunderstood the story. But like, we're from the ship using our, our train, whatever link, our whatever link to control the warframe, right? So why do we need oxygen? Because we have oxygen on the ship, but... So why do we need this life support module? That, that doesn't make sense. Now, I just cracked the code. Well, I guess I exposed the code. This is very interesting stuff going on here. Eyes exposed to big warframe, big media, big uh, digital extremes. What they did once you know, I just exposed that. Very intense stuff. Oh, hey guys. How are we going over here? Well, apparently not very well. We have like 50 million SAS chances. Holy crap, for SAS procs. Which is great and brilliant. Dang, they have a spawn with a little rocks and a lot of they exist. Get off the ground, buddy. There's nothing on the ground that you want. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. Ooh, 5,000. So locked in right now. I'm actually kind of locked in. Okay. It's going pretty well. Up to 10 minutes. That's pretty easy. I might actually dip out here at 10 minutes. I don't really need that much time for this video. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Can you die, bro? Thank you. We could probably get to 15 though, which is 10 more minutes than I thought I could reach. I haven't gotten knocked yet or anything, bro. Level 80 mission, bro. That's how good the Cedo is. I'm literally not good at the game. You guys know I'm not good at the game, and we're absolutely going crazy right now. That's actually just crazy, man. Did they take my gun? No! That's the only reason I'm here right now. Where's my cat? I can't let my cat die, dude. It's like named after my actual in life, real life cat, so I can't let it die. Well, it's named after my sister's in real life cat, which. She lives with me, so well, we live with the family. What the fuck? Why are they dying? Okay. We're getting kind of low on oxygen right now. We're getting a little bit lower. We're getting a little bit lower. They're cooking us. They're cooking us. I mean, they're not cooking shit. It's just the oxygen killing me. So, I mean, they're not actually cooking me at all. But something's cooking me. That's the oxygen. Bro. I'm not freezing, bro. I can't breathe in space. Isn't that crazy? Breathing in space. Freeze, I can breathe in space. Dragon Ball fans, the chat. If anyone's a huge Dragon Ball fan that's watching this, first off, W, man. I play Doken every day. I'm addicted to Doken right now. Second off, how come Freeze can breathe in space? Like, what is Freeze breathing in space? Does Freeze just not breathe? Like, what's going on there? Like, is this heat or heat? It's super common, like, on this. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the fuck Freeze is actually. Now, what we're talking about, is Freeze a guy or girl guy? Like, let's just be real here. Because they're, they re reproduce, like, asexually. They're butt ass naked. I'm not seeing, like, anything. Of anything, it's like what the fuck is Frieza? Like, what, well, like, what are we talking about here? I think it goes by heat, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Evil Emperor, who gives a fuck what they say? But 
The point is, that I'm trying to get out of here, is why the fuck can Frieza breathe in space? Can someone explain that to me? Or, or is that not true? Because I feel like that is true. I, actually, why did I think that? Does Frieza breathe in space? I don't know. I don't know now. I was feeling so confident, but now I, I'm just not sure. Like, no, wait, why, wait, what the fuck? Why can Bardock breathe in space? Remember when they were in Atmosphere, when Bardock was fighting Frieza type shit? Like, all the people were just outside without any, like, gear on to breathe in space? Why the fuck can everyone just breathe in space in Dragon Ball? Now I'm confused. Now, now I'm actually confused. Can everyone breathe in space? Damn, why can't you? Damn, damn, the shield's not doing shit against this guy. Damn. Running out of time. Consider extraction. Damn, damn! Could be my ass. Gosh, they did my ass. I gotta hit some life support real quick. Yeah, at 15, we're getting the fuck out of here because they're actually starting to whip my butt. My booty hole. Life support has been. The range on this thing, damn. For a shotgun, that's just insane range, bro. That's just insane range for a shotgun. Let's just keep it real. Let's just keep it real, bro. That's insane range for a shotgun. Best range ever. Life support activated. What's going on. Okay. Please do not. Holy shit, they have a million health. That's fine. That's fine. I love when they have a million health. Yeah. What else we got going on right here? Oh my gosh, these little fuckers are so annoying, bro. They're so annoying. Also, I want to say I use Lazar Gaming's <laughs> uh, CEDO build. I probably should say this earlier. Um, I know I was talking about using Nightmares, but that's just, I was just trying to make some people I knew that were make good videos. Um, Laser Gaming makes excellent videos. I use, I'll show you guys his build. Excellent build. Uh, I, I mean, I guess I don't know. I don't fucking use it, but based on what I was watching, it was pretty fucking good. Uh, but yeah, so check that out, that build, that video, which will be in the top link in the description. Uh, so I always link every video I use, as you guys can tell. I even like dumb shit meme videos I link. So I believe <laughs> marking your works is very important. But yeah. So check out that for that. Anyway, I, as you guys can probably tell, I'm kind of not commentary. I just, you know, just shooting shit now, having a good time. This is it. Like, Warframe is so brain dead to me. It's just like my favorite brain dead game. Like, I, numbers, death, shooting, just makes me feel happy. Like, it legitimately just is like my, 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 my like, calm, like, there. You know? Not that I really have any therapy, but I'm just saying, like, people will be saying that shit, and I'm just saying that shit that it's Warframe is that. <laughs> Without knowing what people be. I play this game to make me feel better, like shit, I don't know, I just have fun playing games, guys, is that what that means? Talking about like, game saving for mental health stuff? I don't really know if I have that any mental health issues, so I guess I don't know that. Let me know in the comments below if you have that feeling, if the game saved your life. That shit would be crazy. Would be like, how the fuck is order? Anyway, we're getting off in a tangent here, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Uh, let me hear your deep private stories that you probably should talk. No, fuck, don't. Is ready. <laughs> yeah, this is why we have a script. This is why I took the game for that cook using the script. Even though I actually went off, I didn't, I didn't use a script at all today, I'll be honest. I didn't have time to write anything, so I was going to do a school. I actually did not uh, write a script today. I think the video actually did fairly well. Let me know, what do you guys think of my commentary at the beginning of the video? It was a little bit drawn out at certain points. Uh, some repeating words, I know. Some of it was on purpose for comedic effects, some of it was not. Uh, but it was, it, there was no script this, this today. And I, I think the video went fairly well, which I might start doing uh, no script more often if I can produce them, uh, as well as this one, because I feel like it was a good video. As well as uh, if you guys actually do like it. Because I feel like uh, I'm, the script just takes so much time. Okay, for and like, you know, like a five page script, and that's going to take me a couple hours to make. And it's like, if I can make a good thing, just offer it just my own thoughts in my head after doing research, I'll definitely start doing that. Obviously, for my history videos, not history, but like my little lore videos about like villains and stuff, those will need a script that's 40 fucking minutes long. So, uh, obviously, those need a script. But like, for my like, intros, like the worst gun series, best gun series, what the fuck I'm talking about, you guys know what I mean, uh, weapon series, then, you know, I'm obviously, I might, I might stop scripting, scripting the intros to those. You know, all that good stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is kind of like the test of that. This video is dog shit. Probably not. This video is amazing. Please make it do amazing. I'll give everyone a big fat kiss in the comments. Say thank you and probably not. Well, why would I say that, dude? See, I'm just out of pocket, bro. Lock me up in prison, bro. Lock me up in prison. I'm going to drop soap in that hoe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I want to not drop. What? 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 Who said that? What? Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. We could easily go for 20 minutes. Though. With eight of these uh, back in our pocket, we could just we could literally go 20 minutes and just save them. 
I just don't feel like doing 20 minutes right now because I'm already clearly running out of commentary. Uh, very evidently, I'm sure you guys can fucking tell. But we could easily go eight, uh, 20 minutes here. Which I think uh, is much better than I expected. I know a lot of people can obviously go for as long as they want. They're much better at the game, but for me, this is like a proud little accomplishment. To know I could have easily went 20, and I did easily go 15. Pretty proud of myself, guys. That's just how good the Cedo is. Its dick is huge. Let's just be real here. I will dick ride the Cedo till I die. As if, he, as if you guys couldn't tell already. <laughs> oh my gosh, how far away is the objective? Maybe I should just fucking wait at this point. Maybe I should just fucking wait at this point for 20 minutes. Nah, Another life support capsule is now available. Real quick. Critical life support Probably the best or whatever I'm going to miss out on too if I leave. Best option. That's tough, man. The 20 minute rewards are always the best. Roca rotation D, even though there's only two rotations. I'm still using the dual shit Skanas too, bro. <laughs> I need to take those off. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Stay blessed. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment too. That helps with uh, getting the video seen. Like, any interactions. Like, subscribe, comment. Dislike even, I think, actually helps you. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for the last two Warframe videos at 2K views, which is awesome. So thank you. Anyway, peace out. Stay blessed. And hopefully see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.